Becoming a fossil seems like a pretty amazing deal. You get to be remembered, you get to hang out in some fancy museum for ages, and of course, your good looks will be preserved forever. But can anyone become a fossil? I'm going to look into just how many ancient animals ended up as fossils, and then see what the odds are that my own body might make it to that stage. But first, what actually is a fossil. If you use the most basic definition, a fossil is a preserved trace of a once living thing, which therefore would include things like footprints. But for something to turn into a fossil, the conditions have to be just right to stop the animal, the plant, or the microscopic sea thing from rotting away. Ideally, the body needs to be buried pretty quickly. For me, the best fossil origin story is the Blue Lake Rhino, an unlucky beast whose 15 million year old remains were preserved, and likely created, when lava poured into its lake surrounding its body and then cooled. Now if you're in Washington, you can actually go and visit the imprint of the rhino's body, and it's like a tiny cave. There are a lot of weird ways to create a fossil. They can be encased in amber, in tar pits, in ice, or they can come from a body that's just really, really dried out. Drying, freezing, or encasement is the sort of fossil origin which are more likely to preserve bodily tissue. Now, I know, we all remember the dino DNA inside the insects in amber in Jurassic Park, and I know what you're all thinking. What you're all yelling right now is, does that work? Well, sadly it's unlikely to. Scientists have extracted some partial DNA sequences from plants and insects found in ice cores that are 800,000 years old, but that looks to be the limit for now. Researchers in New Zealand reckon that it would only take one and a half million years for all the interesting DNA in a frozen fossil bone to be broken down, and that's about 63 and a half million years after the last known non-avian dinosaur, a Triceratops, died. You can improve your odds of becoming a fossil, though, by taking care that your body is left in the right place. Just ask a taphonomist the group of paleontologists who study burial laws, the way that fossils form. Now, a very dry place might work well, or somewhere with a lot of volcanic ash to bury you, but stay away from jungles where you'll rot or be eaten. Your best plan is to head to somewhere prone to flooding, because the more common fossils don't preserve bodily tissue, the body has been turned into something else, usually into stone. Now, this petrification or permineralization happens around water as the minerals dissolved in the water fill the spaces within the bones, gradually causing the remains to harden with the sedimentary rock. Okay, so that's where you need to start the process uh, to increase your chance to become a fossil, but how long will it take? Well, you'll need to be there for at least 10 thousand years, and it's a good idea to find somewhere without too much geology happening, where the rocks will stay nice and stable. Sadly, you're still incredibly unlikely to become a fossil. Only a tiny fraction of all the animals that have ever lived have managed it. And even in the best fossilization sites, you'll be lucky to find one representative of a species every 27,000 years. So if you were found fossilised by a future paleontologist, you would represent 27,000 years of human existence, which is quite a weight of responsibility. I did find one piece of good news for my fossil quest though. Just by being a human, you're already ahead of the game. We're much more likely to fossilise than, say, a hummingbird, because of our hard, solid bones and teeth. And the way we bury our dead gives an immediate advantage to preserving the body. So who knows, in the distant future one of our descendants or an alien civilization visiting a future museum could gawp at a fossilised me. I wonder what they'd think. If you want to see a film of me getting buried alive, then click on the film there. Um, I didn't turn into a fossil, heads up. I'm still me, still flesh. <laughs>